Hey guys, we're going to continue with the central limit theorem section, but we're going to look at how to solve some of these on the statistical analysis technology. Um, and this one actually picks up with number six, and we'll do the last couple and the homework link together. It's problem six and seven and the central limit theorem homework. Uh, suppose x has a distribution with mu equals 16 and standard deviation equals 11. If a random sample of size 47 is drawn, we're going to find our mean estimate, standard error, and the probability that uh, our average is between 16 and 18. We're going to round standard error to two decimal places and probability to four decimal places. So let me get a sheet of paper, and I would recommend this too. Grab a sheet of paper. Uh, write down your original information. For example, I'm going to write down mu equals 16 and sigma equals 11. Now for sample size of 47, mu sub x, that's going to stay the same as the original description, 16. Your standard error is going to be 11 divided by square root of 47. So grab your calculator, 11 divided by square root of 47. That one we're asked to count to two decimal places. 11 divided by square root of 47. I get 1.60. Okay, now we've got to remember these figures, 16 and 1.60. When you open up SALT, you're going to want normal distribution. Your mu sub x stays the same. Your sigma sub x, not the original, but the one after you divide by square root of 47, that's the one that you got to put in. Now, probability between 16 and 18. Go to these raw scores. Again, make sure you've got between selected 16 and 18. And again, on the right, your, your correct area is highlighted. We just need this. I'm going to copy and paste. Uh, four decimal places, so the five is enough to make that round up to a four. On part B, leave mu the same. For this one, it's 11 divided by square root of 70. I get 1.31. One. And that's rounded to two decimal places. That's all we've got to change in SALT because the probability is still that the average is between 16 and 18. We just got to change this to 1.31. Well, those numbers jumped, didn't they? 16 and 18. Okay, so I'm going to copy, paste. 8 rounds the 5 up to a 6. Why should you expect the probability in part B to be higher than that of part A? Hint, consider the standard deviations. Well, the standard deviation in part B is smaller than part A because of the larger sample size. Therefore, We have a wider distribution. I'm going to submit, make sure it's all correct. Whoop. Oh, yeah, it would be narrow. It has more area. I'm going to resubmit. I had a blonde moment there, and I'm blonde. Barely have any hair left. Number seven. 
Coal is carried from a mine in West Virginia to a power plant in New York in hopper cars on a long train. The automatic hopper car loader is set to put 67 tons of coal into each car. The actual weights of the coal loaded into each car are normally distributed with a mean of 67 tons and a standard deviation of 1.5 tons. Let me jot that down on my paper. 67 and 1.5 respectively. Okay, now mu sub x bar is going to remain 67. Sigma sub x bar is 1.5 divided by, uh, let's see, one card chosen at random will have 66 and a half tons of coal. All right. So let's see. This one, we have probability and we have proportions. So that is, let's see, I may cut this video short and come back and do this one. Hang on just a second. 